Welcome to a new master that riff. Today we're going to be looking at bomb track by Rage Against the Machine. So the first thing I'm going to do is look at this kind of clean palmuted intro part, which is E pentatonic minor, but it's all played in an open position. Um, and I'm using a neck pick up here just to give it more of a kind of rounded sound. So what I'm going to be playing, um, it's all even sixteenths, and it's kind of like the same nucleus of a riff with a different ending, kind of three different times. So the first uh, four notes go like this. So what I'm playing here is open E string, palm muted. I play that with a downstroke. Then I'm going to play two zero on the D string and then two on the A string. Now picking wise, I actually do down, down, up, down. If I was using strict alternate picking, it'd be you know down, up, down, up. Um, it's just the way I, I've naturally kind of learned playing it um, all those years ago. Um, so if you want to keep your strict alternate picking, you'd actually be doing down, up, down, up. I suppose it makes sense and you're always going to be landing with a downstroke on the beat. But I, I tend, I think because it just allows me to dig into that D string a little bit more, so I use a downstroke there. That's the first four notes. Then the next four notes go. So what I'm playing here is open D string, downstroke. Then I play two zero on the A string, and then my second finger plays third fret the E string, like that. So that's your first eight notes. Okay. Then we play the first four notes again. Then we have this bit. So what I'm playing here is zero two in the D string, and then I play an open G string which is open, it kind of just rings out a little bit, so it contrasts with all the other notes that are pan muted. So the first kind of three beats go like that. Or first four beats even. Okay, so that's your kind of first ending where you go open G string. So the second variation sounds like this. Okay, so it's very, very similar. All we're doing is kind of changing the end bits. We have our first section. And then I go open D string, uh, second fret that E string, and then I play three, two, use my second first finger there, three, two in the E string. And what it does is it kind of leads into the another cycle of the riff. So you're going to do three, two, and that open E string pan music would be the start of the next bit. Now the third variation, again, you start the same, so it kind of comes in like this. Now instead of playing just an open G string now, what I do is I play a little trill on that G string there. And it's just enough, uh, you know, time that, because you're playing a trill there, don't sit in the trill for too long. Watch out that you don't throw the rhythm a little bit. So you might do like this. And then you're, you've lost your timing. It has to be quite quick. It's, it lasts exactly the same time as that open G string, so. And when you're doing the trill, I use the first finger there, but think very, very light. You know, um, just fluttering on the string. You don't want to go and really hit with a, a heavy kind of hammer on there. It should just be kind of like a flutter in the string. That way it gives you the control and your hand remains relaxed as well. And then basically we just go back around to um, the second variation. So we do. three, two again, and then it would start all over again. So that's a kind of a, a four bars, basically. So if I put all that together, that's so what it sounds like. Open G string. 
C2, and then it would start all over again. And we play that twice. What we happen, what we do at the end of the second time is we just kind of go. So I just kind of do my two zero two zero on the D string, two zero on the A string, three on the E string, and then I play an open E string at the end with no palm mute before the main riff kind of kicks in. Okay. Now the main riff, um, we've played everything in E pentatonic minor. Now we shift up to F sharp pentatonic minor. Okay, so we've just gone up a tone basically. We're playing with distortion now. Um, and it's what we've got here is a cool little kind of octave displaced thing. So I'm going to play like my root note there is the second fret of that E string. So I play 0 2. Then I'm going to play fourth fret of the D string. So I jump up an octave there. Okay. Then I have a quick 0 to 2. And then there's a rest after that, and that's what gives it, as I've always said with a lot of these riffs, that space just gives it its kind of groove, its kind of feel, its punch. Okay, now when I do the mute, I'm using the kind of right hand, but I'm also using the left hand here as, as well, just lightly resting the, the fingers on the strings, so watch it push down there. And once we've done our, we play another 0-2, then I play 4-2 in the D string. You know, you can use third finger, or if you don't want that stretch, you use your fourth finger there. So if I put that together, it goes like this. Okay. Then that's your kind of, your main theme, and with slight variations. We play it again. And this bit here, what I'm going to do, I play an open E string here, and I'm going to play these sequence of, uh, kind of inverted power chords. Now what I'm normally playing here is like a, a C sharp power chord. So I'm playing the fourth fret of that A string with the first finger, then the sixth of the D and the G strings. But I'm thickening it up by barring the A and the E string, so I've got this kind of low G sharp, a fifth basically on the base of the power chord. So you get a much thicker, kind of uh, fuller kind of sounding power chord. So I play that, and then I just go down two frets chromatically. Like that. So that kind of second part goes. So watch out for the open E string before you play the chords. Open E string, then your chords. So if we put all that together, this is what the, the main distorted riff sounds like. Okay, now we play that three times. Um, the fourth time we play it again, but we change the ending. Instead of going in these sequential power chords, we just play a C sharp power chord and hold it. So it goes like this. And it's not an inverted one here, just a normal C power chord. So I'm just playing the A, D, G strings. Okay, and then the, the verse riff and the main kind of song starts. So let's, uh, I'll put the whole thing together. Uh, nice and slowly, this is what it sounds like. Mm -hmm. 